Okay, for this video, I'll be demonstrating how to work with images in your document using Microsoft Word. So, I have here a document wherein I have several paragraphs here. And uh, how do I insert an image? So, to insert image, we can just click on the insert menu. And then it will show this ribbon here and you can click on this one to insert pictures so if you have pictures uh, in your hard drive or maybe your uh, solid state drive then you can click on this and then locate the picture so in my case let's say I would like to uh, I would like to place this picture in my document so I can click on insert So that is now my document. You notice that uh, if the picture or the image has focus, there will be a new ribbon here. But this is a format ribbon. So you can format this picture using this ribbon. So let's try to check. You can change or you can do some correction or maybe remove background if it is a transparent uh, you can make it transparent correction so you can change the brightness etc or you can change the color maybe to grayscale or uh, and others then we can have art artistic effects picture styles picture border picture effects so and so on so uh, here are some also of the more important formatting uh, options we can align pictures we can rotate the picture and you can bring forward send backward it's arrangement and you can also crop the picture you can change the height and width so if you want a to change the height and width you can do this one now you can also uh, format the picture by right clicking the picture or you can change the size by using this handle so you notice here I have here some handles and this one also the green handle here can be used to rotate the picture if you want to rotate it manually or if you want to rotate it again if you want to rotate it by you can also use this one to rotate or you can have the more rotation options so if you want to resize this uh, one way is to just drag the handle towards uh, inwards so that's now my picture. Okay. So you notice that uh, the text actually wraps around the image. So we have here several wrapping options. So this one is, is, is a square because that's the default. Uh, that's the default I use in my application. You can use top bottom. So. As you notice, the image is at the top and at the bottom. You can change wrapping to tight. So, tight is almost similar to square. But with uh, the image, maybe is tighter or the text can be uh, wrapped around but with smaller space. You can also through. top and bottom or oh, we have done that one we have behind text so it is behind text we can also have in front of text so the text is at the back but for now let's use square the tight here although similar to square especially used for irregular shape uh, pictures or pictures that are not using rectangle or square uh, shapes so that's how we place pictures so again let's try some of this so I will not be doing this uh, will not be uh, doing this one by one but I'll just show you some 
So let's say correction. So we can change the brightness. So it is now a little bit brighter. You can change the color. So it becomes black and white. So I can press Ctrl Z to the box. So I can also use shadows and frames. So you can try this. So this effects here. So it's up to you to uh, choose. So again, to click here, click here if you want to make use of this. So let's say that's how we place images. So we can rotate if you want. So you can also flip vertically, but uh, you cannot. The flipping is not noticeable. So horizontally, vertically. So that will be uh, put horizontally. If not, and that's original uh, picture. Okay. So let's try to. Uh, how do we crop pictures? So to crop pictures, we click on this, and then you notice that the handle will be changed. So I can. I can just move this. Sorry, that's not. You should take note of the icon. Uh, that's already cropping a picture. Then, so you notice that I was able to crop this side of the picture. Okay, so these are what I have shown you is some of the ways that we can place images on the document. Let's try others. How about uh, adding shapes? So let's say we'd like to add a uh, so we'd like to add a what's that? <laughs> a triangle. So again, you can format this and you can also edit the shape. So if I would like to edit the shape, edit points. So I would like to edit the points. So again, edit shape, then edit points. So I can edit the points. And you can drag the points because I want a triangle that is of this shape. So that's now my triangle. No, I would like the text to wrap around this image. So I'm going to choose wrap text. So you notice if I use a square, it is still square. If I use tight, then there's a difference between tight and square. So you use tight, especially if the shape is different or it's not rectangular. You can change the format of this so you can uh, use shape styles here or you can change the field color you can change the shape outline so also the weight etc so these are some of the things that we can do with this uh, image you can also add text here so add text so the right click usually I use right click and then Add text. Oh, but it, fortunately, it is being shown outside the triangle, so let's not do that anymore. So th th we can do this one. Okay, so that's how we add images, how we add shapes. Actually, here we can you can experiment on this. Okay, but I'll be showing another oh, on another page. So how do I insert another page to ins go to another page? You have to use what? Uh, page layout, break, page break, or just press Control, Enter. So I am not. I am now on the another uh, on another page. So I would like to place some shapes. just to show something and let's say another shape here so 
So I can change the color. Let's say I can use predefined formats. Okay. So what are the things I can do with this? First, let's say for example, I can to select them, I can click, control, click, control, click. Or you can use also the, uh, the icon here for selecting several objects. But what I, what I would like to show here is, after selecting this, I can actually align. Say align top. So their top is already aligned. I can also use align left. So it's already aligned left. So let's bring it back here. And I can also so format um, bring forward. Let's say I would like to bring this image forward. So bring forward. So wait. Bring forward. So it is now uh, at the front of these images. And we like to bring this, for example, backward or send this backward. So send backward. So you can change the arrangement of your uh, image. And what else? Uh, what else can we... You can change the height. Let's say, for example, oh, I would like to have... I would like to use 3.7 for my height. So just type... Press Enter key, then that will change the height. Oh, let's let's try to exaggerate. Let's say I would like to use five for my height. And width is ten. So I have now changed the height and width. But it did not change the height. Maybe no, let's change the height to etc. How how do we add text? Right click, uh, right click, edit text or add text. So we add text. Of course, we can. Uh, what else can we do with this? Mm, now we like to show another one. So insert text box because I usually use text box. So you can choose among this as a style, or you can just draw the text box. So I'll just draw text box, draw the text box, and you can type here text. we can always move this so just drag to move you can also format this text box or just if you want you can just click and then you can format you can use a shape <coughs> shape fill and other effects so shape effects you would like to add shadow so I have for now a shadow on my uh, text box and what is more important here is I can add another text box okay and then I would like to create a link So wait. So 
let's press escape first. So I'll click on this, create a link, and then I click on this one. So what does that mean? That means that if I create a link uh, for these two text boxes, if the contents of this box, or for in case of overflow, so that means the con uh, this is already full, then the overflow will be placed in this other text box. So let's try that. So I'm now typing text. So you notice it continued on the next text box. So usually this is very useful if you are trying to lay out magazines or newspapers. So if I make this smaller, then text will be transferred here. So that is how we link text boxes. And maybe there are still more we can demonstrate, but uh, for now, this will be uh, my demo for today. Thank you very much for viewing this demo.